All right, per request of a student, I got a video today where we're gonna talk about taking a table of values that has a constant rate of change, plugging in some missing information, and then answering some questions based around what this data is telling us. All right, we've got shelves built as our X column, wood remaining as our Y column. And what we're talking about is somebody that's building shelves, they have a certain amount of pieces of wood, and then they're gonna use so many pieces to build one shelf two shelves, three shelves, and that is a constant rate that we're gonna find. So zero shelves have been built. It looks like we have 100 pieces of wood remaining. After we build our first shelf, now we only have 89 pieces of wood remaining. Therefore, our wood remaining is dropping 11 pieces every shelf that we build. So we're gonna take our change in Y and our change in X to determine what our rate of change is. Change in Y over change in X is how we get our rate of change. We wanna make sure it's consistent throughout all of these. So I'm just gonna take a quick peek and make sure I'm going down 11, yes, down 11, yes, down 11. It is consistent. So if I go down 11 more, that would take me to 45. Down another 11, that would take me to 34. So I've completed the table, but I have some questions being asked about my rate of change. In the worksheet that I gave out to my students, it asked what is the amount of wood that it takes to build one shelf. Well, based off of what we found, it takes 11 pieces of wood for one shelf to be built. Change in Y over change in X is how we get our rate of change, okay? And that would be negative 11 divided by one, which represents negative 11. We lose 11 pieces of wood every time we build one shelf. One more question that was asked is, is the relationship positive or negative? Now, my, my class had a really good conversation about this. Most kids assumed that it was a negative rate of change because our result came out to be negative. However, I did have a few students that wanted to argue that because that is negative and that is positive, we're dealing with both, positive and negative, okay? You have to combine these together. We have to put those together as a ratio negative 11 over one, and once you divide a negative and a positive, you will always end up with a negative result. So it is not both, even though there is a positive increase happening here, okay? We have to put those together to find out what the rate comes out to. So this is a negative rate of change. It has a constant rate of change of negative 11, and we can determine that after seven, 23, eight, 12, nine, one, we would be able to make nine shelves. We'd have one piece of wood remaining if we started with 100. Hopefully this helps. Study hard and good luck on your upcoming test.